Hello children and welcome back. I hope all of you are doing good. All fit and fine. That's lovely. Children, today I have brought something very beautiful and something that all of us like. Can you guess? Well, let me tell you. Today I have brought a few flowers for you. Yes, yellow flower, a purple flower, an orange flower, white flower, maroon flower and dark purple flower. Can you guess the topic that we are going to discuss on? That's right. Today we are going to discuss on flowers. So don't you realize that flowers are very very beautiful and everybody loves flowers. They come in different colors. We just saw a yellow flower, a purple flower, an orange flower, a white flower, a maroon flower and a dark purple flower. But is that all? Definitely not. You have red, you have pink, you have orange, you have uh, dark yellow, you have blue and you have many shades of these colors. You can find them. Lovely beautiful flowers in different colors and that is why we say color flowers are very colorful. Now they have different size and shapes. Some flowers are very small while as some flowers are big. Aren't they different? Different in size, different in shape and the shape of the petal, the colors of the petal, the size. They make up the carpet size of the flowers. Alright. Now flowers, they also have a beautiful fragrance. Wow, such a beautiful smell. Such a lovely smell. And when the smell is nice and you want to smell them, you say that the fragrance is very nice. So flowers like chrysanthemums, roses, jasmine, mogra, they have beautiful fragrance. Alright, and what do we do with flowers? See, what have I done? I have put them in my hair. Why did I do that? Because this chrysanthemum flower has a Lovely fragrance. So when I have put them in the hair, I all keep have getting a nice sweet smell throughout the day. So sometimes girls, ladies, mummies, they put flowers in their head. Small flowers can be offered to God. When you do puja, you can Offer these flowers to God. And children, sometimes we also use the flowers to decorate our homes. Like I am putting these flowers in a vase. See how lovely they will look. See how lovely they are looking in a vase. Right? So we use flowers. Sometimes to put in our hair, we offer them to God, we put it in a vase to decorate our homes or you can also make garlands and then decorate your house. Alright children, so remember, flowers are beautiful. They come in different sizes, shapes, colors. They have a Lovely fragrance. Flowers make all of us very happy. The plants, the trees, they look so beautiful 
with lovely flowers on them. And that is why we should not pluck flowers from trees. Okay? These flowers have honey. You will see insects. You will see butterflies. You will see honey bees come flying, sit on the flower and suck the honey from the flowers. So you should leave flowers for them also. Otherwise, how will they fill their stomach? Right? So... We should not pluck flowers. Okay children? And now let us learn the names of few common flowers. Okay? I will show you the pictures and let us see how these individual flowers look like. But let me tell you, this is marigold. This is chrysanthemum. And these are... Periwinkle flowers, same flower but different color. Periwinkle or winka. These flowers are marigold, smaller variety. Okay, and this is chrysanthemum. Okay, now let us see a few more common flowers. Children, look at this beautiful flower. It is called rose. Roses come in different colors. You can see here a shaded rose that is white and maroon. You can see an orange rose, a red rose, white and yellow rose. Children, these flowers are called lilies. Lily comes in different colors. You can see yellow, pink or even white lily. Here you can see a pink, yellow and a red hibiscus. It is also called a shoe flower. Here you can see a white Mogra and a yellow sunflower. Children, look at these beautiful flowers. The orange flower is called marigold. Whereas the purple flower, it is called aster. And the blue one is called morning glory or ipomia. So children, when you look at a plant, sometimes you see tiny little buds. So all these flowers, they start from the first stage that is of a bud. These buds, they gradually bloom. They start opening up and then one day they are fully opened or fully bloomed and you can see them. You can see their lovely colors. You can smell their beautiful fragrance. So children, we see flowers all around us. Beautiful, colorful, fragrant flowers. And they are made up of petals. Okay? They have a stem. And they look beautiful along with the leaves. So that was all about flowers.